think it might be time for a rebrand, bro. So pop that pimple on your forehead because it ain't spitting the truth no more. And then I recommend adding a little bit more What's up guys, Alec on here and today we're going to talk about Filion and Noel Dizel. And I'm a little late to the party here like usual and that's because I'm not actually subscribed to Filion's channel because why would I be? And I really must live under a rock because prior to this past week, I had never heard of Noel Dizel either. And so I actually found out about this juicy little chunk of beef from the recent video posted by Jeffrey Verity Schofield. That's Jeffrey Verity. Schofield. Jeffrey Verity Schofield. So I'm reacting to Jeffrey's reaction, of Filion's reaction, of Noel Dizel becoming the next YouTube fitness god. Just kidding, although that would be kind of funny, but now, nah, after I watched Jeffrey's video, I went and I checked out Filion's vid on the same subject, and whew, Filion got freaking bodied, man. I've never seen that many dislikes on a video. And then I went and I checked out some of Noel's content as well, which was easy enough to do because all his videos are really freaking short. So I got to watch a lot of his content and it didn't take me all that long to do it, which was kind of nice. Now, I will say this before jumping into it today. I am not, and I never was a fan of Filion. I saw his stuff, some of his stuff a few years ago, and then I never paid any attention to him again because I just found him to basically be kind of like shredded sports science, to be honest, only without the sports science degree, but basically just a pretentious, holier-than-thou sort of dude ragging on everybody else without ever really walking the walk himself, which I personally find to be very off putting. That's So that's obviously going to bias what I'm saying here today, but just for the sake of full disclosure, now you guys know. So basically, Filion made like a 14 minute video <laughs> sifting through Noel's content and basically just pooping on him for essentially getting famous by regurgitating the same style of bodybuilding content that's been around the fitness industry for forever now, but with the added shtick of Noel admitting that he's not actually natty. Right now, the fact that Noel is probably going to crack a million subs very soon on a channel that's only been making videos for like six months now in reality, at least on YouTube, and he's managed to do this while in part calling out fake natties and using the shorts format on YouTube really seemed to piss Filion off, in part because Filion apparently missed the boat on the shorts phenomenon, and also in part because his whole shtick is to call out BS and fake natties in the fitness industry. So he's salty that the Noel dude is in part doing the same thing as him, but is becoming more popular than him a lot faster as well. Mostly because he actually looks the part at the same time. Now here's the thing, and Filion ignored a big part, a key part about Noel's content in his analysis, I will say that. But I do agree, I actually agree with some of what Filion said in his video. Yes, most of the practical content that's being posted by Noel is nothing new, right? Eat a lot of high quality protein, eat your freaking veggies, get some sleep, man, and keep shit simple, right? His training advice also seems to be mostly rooted in enhanced bodybuilding ideology from what I can see, which personally I'm not really a huge fan of that because I don't believe that it really applies to unenhanced lifters, but at the same time that's not the end of the world because if it gets people in the gym, which it seems to be doing, then that is still better than nothing. But most of Noel's content, at least what he has on his YouTube channel so far up to this point, because that's all I looked at was his YouTube channel. Most of his content on there is not really what I would consider practical content, but rather it's motivational and inspirational style content, as well as even PSA style content. So the key part that Filion ignored in his analysis is that Noel is actually helping the up and coming generation of lifters. He speaks to Gen Z specifically, probably on TikTok, right? He speaks to them by speaking the truth, right? He's telling young kids on TikTok to avoid SARMs just for one thing. And instead of trying to get a shortcut like that, train hard and diet hard which is something that apparently needs to be said. He had a video on there advising people not to mix their pre-workout into a freaking energy drink, which I don't know where the hell people come up with this stuff, but he suggests instead to allow your caffeine tolerance to dissipate a little bit, and then, you know, maybe then you can go back to just drinking your pre-workout 
in water like you're supposed to be doing. He also has a good video on sleep apnea, which is something that people don't usually talk about. He encourages you to eat your veggies. He tells you how to use herbs and spices to make them taste less bland. And most importantly of all, the dude's not a fake freaking natty, right? He admits to being on gear and that by default automatically makes him somebody that you have to respect. Because frankly, the default in this industry, what's considered normal and what's considered acceptable and honestly, what's probably freaking encouraged is to lie is to lie and tell people that you're not using drugs when you are using drugs and then try to sell them BS products and BS training programs and that sort of thing. And that's all really a shame, but this dude is breaking that mold. And that right there is very commendable in and of itself. Along with that, he also seems like he's trying, just trying to be a positive guy, right? He's trying to inspire teenagers to get into the gym and to better themselves. He posts inspirational short videos and he encourages people to stop trolling and leaving negative freaking comments on the internet and you can't really knock that right it's a hard hard sell for Philion to sit there and take a shit all over the guy who's literally saying this why the f can we not just support one another supporting someone else's future doesn't take away from yours and when that same guy isn't full of shit about his gear usage and he isn't telling you oh you can look like me if you take this fancy fucking creatine and these overpriced supplements or whatever it's hard to hate on that. And personally, I would never hate on that. And it is freaking hypocritical for Philion, a guy who built his career calling out fake natties and waiting for somebody like this to come along. It's super hip hypocritical for him to be hating on that. And so Philion and his pimple of truth really kind of miss the forest for the trees here, man. Noel's content is honest and it's inspiring. Is it what I want? Is it for me? Personally, no, but it also is not deserving of any hate. And frankly, Philion is just too fucking salty in his video, man. Like the jealousy that was present there, it just permeates the screen. And even though he assures us multiple times in his video that he doesn't hate the player, he just hates the game, then he should have done the video differently, to be honest with you. He, he could have used Noel's content as a segue to get into the topic that he wanted to talk about, but then he could have moved away from Noel specifically and instead just talked about the fitness industry at large while still basically making the same exact point in the video. He still would have been able to use Noel's name for clicks, but then the rampant jealousy would have been removed from the video, and that would have been a win-win. But for whatever reason, that is not the route he went. And instead, he got got straight up bodied with dislikes on his own video. And here's the thing about Philion, man. He doesn't really seem to provide much insight, right? He calls out fake natties, but that's something that only needs to be done a handful of times, to be perfectly honest with you guys, before people should be able to figure it out for themselves. And it's certainly not something that needs to be done on every single character in the fitness industry or every single celebrity who makes an impressive body transformation. And beyond that, he poops all over everybody else's content seemingly without ever providing any real insight or theories of his own. Own. But at some point, you've got to segue out of that vapid style of content. Yes, it attracts new viewers because you can throw other people's names into the title and whatnot, that kind of thing, which admittedly is why I'm making this video in the first place. I'm not going to deny that, but that only has merit when it is done occasionally. If everything is drama all the freaking time, then the drama stops being exciting and it stops providing that dopamine hit and you lose your audience's interest. And so eventually you have to offer some kind of substance as well along with that. But it seems like the wall that Philion is going to run into is that he has no substance of his own to offer. And that's really the issue with these professional YouTubers. I think Jeffrey mentioned this in his video as well, but they become a a slave to the YouTube algorithm. And the algorithm is kind of stupid. Let's be fucking real here. It encourages a slow decline of content quality until what you're left with is a guy ranting about how some other guy who's telling the truth is an asshole. And that's what Philion's last video was. And basically, it turns YouTube fitness into keeping up with the Kardashians. It's just 
vapid. Now, on the other hand, you have guys like me, right? I don't even need to make these YouTube videos anymore. I do it because I'm opinionated and I enjoy voicing my opinions. As well, I think that my training information is a fucking one and vastly different from the bodybuilding methodology that's so pervasive across social media and across the fitness industry. But I wouldn't consider myself a professional YouTuber and I'm certainly not a slave to any algorithm. If my YouTube channel went belly up tomorrow, my coaching business would sustain itself on referrals and organic website traffic alone at this point. I don't need it. Filion apparently does. And in my opinion, that has led him to this. That has led him to where we are now. And if I were him, I would seriously consider switching paths at this point. Either leave the fitness industry alone and just focus on general comedy style content, right? Whatever else, anything outside of fitness that you find funny, stand up comedy bits, however the hell you want to frame it and do it, whatever niche you want to go for. Or get back to the heart of the thing. What he was trying to do with his channel originally, right? When he was still calling himself Philion Fit. He came out, he originally wanted to be a fitness influencer. So he could try that and he could start actually trying to help people again. His platform is big enough now that he should be able to make that transition successfully. And if people feel that he is genuine, then I guarantee you they will stick around and see what he has to say. He wouldn't be the first person to make that type of transition and he might want to take the negative response to his latest video as the cue that maybe it is time for him to do just that. Anyway, that's all I got for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, vapid as it was, but no worries there because next week I'm going to give you guys the secret weapon to building cannonball delts as a natty lifter. Remember to smash the like button before you go. Subscribe to my channel and leave me some love in the comments as well. Check out www.oncareelitefitness.com for online coaching and training programs and that is a wrap. Keep training hard and I'll catch you guys next time.